Why would you give that bum money? Arrest him for something just to get him off the street. This is exactly why I left the other precinct. Because of officers like you. Thank you so much for the coffee and the donuts. Oh, you're very welcome, Kate. You know, you and the whole department have been so kind to me ever since I transferred here two weeks ago. That's what we, that's what we do. We want to give a warm welcome into the department. So tell me, what, what happened at your previous precinct? I mean, I mean, why did you put in for transfer? No, that's a long story, but yeah? the short version, basically, I just got tired of all the politics and corruption, you know? Hmm. What, did one of your colleagues shoot somebody and ask you to cover up or something? <laughs> No, it wasn't that bad. No one got shot. Good. But basically, they just kept having me lie for this cop's bad behavior. And, you know, finally I just had enough. And internal affairs didn't get wind of it? You know, that whole department was so corrupt. Sometimes I think internal affairs turned a blind eye on purpose. Wow. Well, if you can't trust internal affairs to get it right, then you did right just to get out of there. Mm -hmm. I, I think you make a really good decision to move over to this precinct. You know, I think you're right. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I've been seeing this guy around everywhere. Just ignore him. Please, sir. Please help. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good one. May God bless you. Now, why would you do that? What do you mean? Why would you give that bum money? What do you mean? He's homeless. He obviously needs the help. Yeah, but, but if you give him money, then you're enabling him to stay on the streets. I mean, I, I am just so sick of all these bums everywhere. I mean, it's just ruining what once was a very peaceful, beautiful town. This is not the mango park I grew up in. I mean, we should just arrest him for something just to get him off the street. Arrest him? For what? Well, looky here, he's getting ready to break the law as we speak. What are you talking well, he's about? He's trying to cross the street. There's no crosswalk. That's jaywalking. Jaywalking? Seriously? Well, I don't care what you pick. I mean, uh, uh, vagrancy, uh, disturbing the peace, jaywalk, whatever. You know damn well that guy didn't do any of those things. And arresting him for jaywalking. Really, that's just laughable. You know, I don't think you should use that tone with me. I, why don't you just consider this first arrest as your initiation into the department, okay? And do what your superior officer has ordered you to do. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not going to do that. I'm not about to make an excuse to arrest this poor man. Yeah, 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 you are, because I'm your superior officer. So please do what your superior officer has ordered you to do. No can do. You know, I can't believe this is happening again. This is exactly why I left the other precinct. Because of officers like you. Okay, if you don't do what I've ordered you to do, then I will write you up for insubordination. Are we clear? Do we understand each other? Don't let her corrupt you, Will. Wait, what? How do you know my name? Because I've been following you ever since you joined our department. And I must admit, I am very proud of the young officer that you're becoming. Excuse me? Hey, 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 take it easy. Hey, where, where'd you get that badge? Oh my God. Captain Porter. Officer Adams. C Captain, what are you doing here? What's going on? Well, ever since Officer Adams came back from her suspension and her training, it was decided to give her another chance. Now, I never trusted her. A leopard can't change her spots. So I decided to go undercover. You know, just to see what she would do, to see if she learned her lesson. But apparently not. Captain, I, 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 I did learn. I have learned. I have changed. I mean, I, how am I supposed to know that's you? And what did I do that was so wrong? You know, the mere fact that you don't know what you did wrong here today shows me that your moral compass is completely broken beyond repair. Oh, 
Come on, Captain. I mean, I, I promise I have changed. I, I, I mean, you're gonna let one incident, I mean, ruin everything? I mean, come on, Captain. You said that the last time, remember? Okay, Captain, please. I, I'm begging you, come on, Captain. It gives me no pleasure to do this. But as of right now, you are terminated from the Mango Park Police Department. And I promise you that this time, it's gonna stick. You won't work for this department or any other department ever again. Well, take her back to the precinct. Will do, Captain. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So this day didn't turn out quite how you thought it would, huh? Nope. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Let's talk. Um, listen, Will, right now, uh, this is gonna go to HR, right? And uh, right now, it's just our word against his word. So, you know, maybe, maybe we can strike a deal, right? I throw you a little cash, you do me a solid, you know? Help me out here. What do you say, Will? It's hmm. interesting. Some money, you said? Yeah, 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 whatever it takes. I mean, we'll, we'll work it out, right? Come on. So now you're bribing a police officer. Oh, God. Come so on, Will. not only did you lose your job today, now you're under arrest, Kate. Oh, come Turn on. Around, Kate. Turn around. God, I you're under arrest for bribing a police this. officer. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Kate. All right, I, I, let's go. Shall I read you your rights? Come on, Will.